So hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today we are gonna make Among Us character as PewDiePie. <laughs> okay, this, I have downloaded these images to use them as a reference to create PewDiePie as an Among Us character. All right, we'll be using this character that we created in our previous video if you haven't watched that video so you can just go in the description box and click on the first link to see how i made this we'll be progressing in this to make that pewdiepie among us character so let's go so i have decided i'll make it black in color and uh, i'll use his headphones or headset what you call them this on his on this character's head and uh, this hairband is pointy to give it a PewDiePie look and also I'm gonna use this shape is which creates PewDiePie's identity on its on the Among Us character somewhere I don't know where I'm gonna use it I have some rough sketches but I'm still confused so Phil will make it okay so let's start so the our Among Us character is on the first layer and on the second layer we have all these images alright so I have like locked the PewDiePie images layer and the above layer is unlocked so the first thing we are gonna do is just select all this duplicate it holding alt or option click and drag make a duplicate and we are gonna group it ctrl g is the shortcut to make it group and we'll just keep it as a backup all right so we'll just delete the shadow that we created now we are free to work so the first thing we are gonna do on this is create this headphone of pewdiepie so we'll create it we'll move it up here all right so we are gonna use this image let's just go here we'll be trying to Replicate it as as much as we can. Let me just create a. All right, let's put it on the back. The shortcut for it is Shift Control Open Square Bracket. And now we are gonna lock it. So the shortcut for locking a layer is Control Two. All right, so now it's locked. You can unlock it later. So now select this. Put it up here. And now let's create his headphone. So the basic shape is it's in circle. It's a, like a donut shape, I don't know. So it's like a square. Nay Rose, oh yeah, I'm finna pop. Yeah, baby, hit the spot like summer and some dipping dots. Jackpot sound coming at you through a different slot. You can try your luck, but end up missing from a living shot. Ooh yeah. Oh baby, it's my season Straight up out the water, I'm so well, I'm artesian Girl in my DM Every time suspicion hit you, ask about this She gon' swear that guy, she got amnesia Even if she taking, I might still come for her Like my name was Liam Neeson I don't do no beating around the bush <laughs> I need to use this, this reference Yes, I'll use this So I'll just drag this This wipe it up We're gonna connect it We're gonna snap it to the all right, it's snapped. So we'll just drag this up right here. Now oh, it's making sense. Yes. We'll delete this. We'll drag this up out to make it good. To make it look good, we'll go to this. Yeah, and select all this. Drag it down. We are in outline mode right now. Let's go to Control Y to go in overview. Okay, now it's looking good. Yes. And just make one more like this and uh, drag these two corners. Okay. Let's drag it. Uh, yep. Right there. Just turn it up. Connect both this. Now it's looking good. Yes. So we have done the this part of it. And now we are gonna make the ring of the headphone. Okay. So now we are just gonna select all this. Click and hold Alt. Drag it up here. Make sure it's just snapped. Uh, this will be alright, I think. Yes. So we can change it later. It's vector art, so we can change it anytime we want. Just go to object, transform, reflect. 
make sure it's selected to vertical ok now it needs reflected now we'll make it this part so what we're gonna do is you know make like divide it we'll just get a middle line so this area is dividing is defining a middle area of this so we can just reflect it okay so here's the trick so I made this middle line perfect gap between these two like it's right in the middle of it okay so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna make this side of shape and we're just gonna reflect it using reflection tool all right so now let's make it from where it is connected so it's connected from right here all right yes so we'll just click drag and uh, drag it up here okay to make this line now it's good now we will make it thick line above it Okay, just click and drag, make sure, done, boom, yep, so, so now here's the magic trick, select both of this, and now we have our middle line, so we know from where to reflect it, now click on O, to select this shape called reflect tool, alright, the shortcut for it, it is O, so let's just, make a like this middle point let's just click on this area right in the center so to to make this point now click and hold alt and just drag your mouse on the right side what the <laughs> okay it's done it's done all right so it's looking a bit ugly so it's like both this and just drag it bit far yep and just will make it so now we'll connect both the shapes using the pathfinder and gonna use unite option oh now it's united boom okay Let's just drag this handle bit up. Let's just drag this handle up. Alright. It's looking good. It's looking really like a PewDiePie headphone. And now we're gonna make the same size of stroke as this is. And we're gonna put both of this shape to the back. We're gonna send it to the back. So let's just right click and on arrange. You can go to send to back or the shortcut for this is shift plus control plus open square bracket and they'll be sent to back make a duplicate using holding alt it's gonna make this group all right so we have this so okay it's making just gonna drag this bit down you can see there is a lot Gap. So we need to increase the gap in between both of these. So let's just select. Let's just double click it. Click. Click on these two shapes. All right, and this one, and this one, and drag it up here. My this is gonna work. And just select this. And scale it up. Now click on Escape to go on Overview double click drag this bit down bit down all right this is okay now select both this anchor point drag them down tell her she can take it if she want to bet you all the money that i got up in my pocket she gonna hit a lick that's just what it is that's just what it is i ain't gotta lie to you that's just what it is that's just what it is okay so it's done now we'll color it to black red color make sure the Fill color selected, go to select HSB panel. Okay, and we're gonna just drag the saturation to zero. And now let's decrease the brightness. Okay, now select both this. 
use eye for eyedropper tool select this and drag it bit down now we'll color this his headphone what we are gonna do to color it let's just we'll gonna copy this layer and just add it to back and we're gonna color it so here's the trick uh, Control c for copy and Control b to pasting it in back so now it this shape is pasted in back so we're now gonna select this and just gonna change it like swap it from from stroke to fill the shortcut for this is shift x so it now it's shifted make sure the fill color is selected now we're gonna increase the saturation increase the brightness you can just like eyedropper to copy this color now we're gonna select both of these send them to back no it's not gonna be send it to back so we we'll need to delete it so just make this right delete all right so now let's do this here okay stroke and we are just gonna delete both of this select and hit delete and make an anchor point make an anchor point so the shortcut for this this tool is plus button Spring, summer, winter, fall. Yeah, I'm so seasoned. I can do it all. So that's, that's just what it is. I ain't gotta lie to you. Okay, it's looking good. So we are need to. So we just need to ungroup it. Now we'll group this part. Select this area. Make sure the back area is not selected. We'll just ungroup it first of all. Ungroup. Okay, so now let's select both of this. Just select this. Control G, make group. Select both this. Control G. Both this. Control G. Both of this. Control G and this. And Control G. So we'll now need to send them back. So Shift Control Open Square Bracket. So they are totally. So we'll need to bring them bit front. So for bringing them front the shortcut is control plus close square bracket so now select both of these shift square bracket to send them to back and control or close square bracket to bring them to front now it's looking i will create this this shape for it so let's just make a square perfect square now change the fill to stroke using shift plus x Make sure stroke is selected, uh, select black color, fully black. Okay, now let's make this design. So just use pen tool, drag, okay. And now use Alt to copy it down. And now hit Control D, Control D, Control D, Control D, Control D. So make copy of it and uh, go on stroke, reduce its width, just it up copy it again all right let's drag it up here in fact it's zigzag it's zigzag yes we did it go to relative smooth select smooth increase the size no not this much this much will be fine now we'll need to make them we'll need to expand them so go to object expand appearance object again select expand click on ok and now make them group using ctrl g so that they, they are now group resize it let's just decrease this stroke it's too much i think this much will be fine just like this snap it up here drag it down drag it down drag it down just drag it up here all right so now just like this square control c control d to paste it on back now change it to fill from stroke to fill using shift x now so now it's fill just so now we'll change the color copy this color uh, we'll need to change it a bit so select this puppet warp tool click here okay delete this drag it a bit up no drag mega point up here make sure this doesn't go out of the drawing area 
or I drag this up and make points up here and drag this up. Hell, you so thirsty for attention in the desert, you could find a well, alive and well. I'm fly as hell, yeah, okay. My fan base like ICP and tell Al, give me RESP ICT. I like my leaf water hot, that's no ICT. My I, I think I did too much. It's alright, so let's just select all of these. Control G to make a group, drag it up here, drag it a bit down, yep, up here. So now it's like, like pretty pie. I think we need to make this design up here. So we'll just duplicate this part, ungroup this, ungroup. Now use uh, this layer, delete this and delete this one also because we don't need it we just need this one we just need this one okay so now let's just duplicate this path ungroup it ungroup we don't need the stroke less so or delete it oops put this up I'll drag it up here what we'll do now is we'll gonna select shape builder tool delete it manually so Using Alt, delete the shapes. Using Alt, let's just delete it. Hey, that's just what it is. That's just what it is. I ain't gotta lie to you. That's just what it is. That's just what it is. I ain't gotta lie to you. No. Delete this color and uh, just drag this lead up here. We're gonna be dragging this up scale it bit down this color is black yes select both of this and use eyedropper let's make it dark make it dark yep i forgot this one so we'll do this to this area S select both of this color this one and uh, then shift this one and just use eyedropper copy the color use pen tool click drag click and drag use eyedropper tool to select the color shift x to swap it between fill to stroke and let's just okay it's good this one is good and, uh, just change it a bit drag it up this color is shoulder uh, make use pen tool make this we are gonna make it a bit darker use arch for eyedropper select this color go to color options drag it low all right now send it to the all the way back so the shortcut for it is shift control open square bracket so now we are gonna put it to front so shift plus close square bracket close 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 just keep hitting it till it's up here all right so we need to change it a bit more okay it's looking good let's just do this to both of this so select this click and hold on alt it's up here now use selection tool and drag it use die selection tool here now use pen tool click and drag now use eyedropper tool to copy this stroke property use pen tool and draw this layer and we have made a PewDiePie art now click and try click and try okay so it's done now let's color it in drag in red drag all the way to back I use Control close square bracket so now let's select this color and uh, select this color and this one also this one yep. drag it to back send it to back to front all right now it's looking good so we'll, you can see the stroke is gone from here so we'll just select this hold alt and copy drag it up here let's just do this turn off all the legs drag it up here scale it up 
let's just delete this layer so we need and delete so we'll make one more copy of this we will gonna make a alt version so just artboard tool click and hold alt and drag so it's copied now we will okay so here's the alt version so we'll gonna delete it this path this path this 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 and uh, all right so everything is deleted now we'll use this path and uh, scale it up to the top just ungroup it delete this background color delete this stroke now we are left with this let's just make a copy make a backup of it now let's track this path above all right and rotate it yep rotate it and just scale it no just transform it a bit okay it's looking good now let's select this and this area and hit shift plus m for uh, shape builder tool and just delete things we don't want it's like you can try your luck but end up missing from a liver shot oh yeah oh baby it's my season straight up out the water i'm so well i'm color the background into red this area red and just drag the brightness a bit low and increase the saturation to a hundred drag the brightness drag the brightness okay select this use eye for eyedropper copy its property now let's select this part. If I don't get the recognition now, that's okay because my hustle real strong. I could ball like the bar, club pack, water wall, spring back on them cause I So they are front. Let's just group it. Let me show it's grouped. Use this. Bring them to front. Arrange. Bring them to front. So guys, we done it. These are the two versions of the PewDiePie as Among Us character so comment below which one you liked and thank you for watching if you have watched the full video then make sure you subscribe and like the video and just comment below which one is your favorite so thanks for watching and bye bye